Well, there's been consistent talk of La Nina rains developing later this year. However, a new climate driver is setting up and that's expected to limit rainfall over the coming months. Now, Sky News weather meteorologist Rob Sharp explains. Forecasting Australia's weather and climate is a complex process and we now have a new climate driver to our west to contend with. This, the positive phase of the Indian Ocean Dipole was active through last winter and spring and provided less rainfall for Australia and warmer temperatures through that period of time. And it's starting to set up earlier than usual at the moment. Uh, we are currently uh, seeing the fourth week in a row above the threshold of 0.4 degrees in the IOD region. So that means we've still got four more weeks to go before it's an official event and it now looks likely to develop. Historically when we've had positive IOD events we've had drier than usual weather particularly in those red shaded regions and it's been warmer than usual as well. And this is already coming through in the Bureau's forecast for next month. The month of May looks drier than usual for Australia dominated by that climate driver because out to the our east, the Pacific Ocean, the current El Nino event is not really doing anything to Australia at the moment. It's a very weak event, and in my opinion, it's already over. But we're starting to see some cooler than usual seas in the eastern Pacific, and therefore, we're now likely to have a La Nina event during the second half of this year. But this is still at least a few months away from developing. Uh, so its influence on our winter looks much less than its influence will be on our spring and historically it's brought wetter than usual weather for Australia. So what does all this mean for the coming season? Well this is the average of forecast models for winter in terms of rainfall and it's actually still picking wetter than usual weather, slightly wetter than usual for the east coast and parts of the centre of the country but drier than usual for the southern coastline and into the northwest. But I think the way it will probably play out is generally drier than usual weather for May and into the start of winter, particularly for the west and the south but the further we move through winter and into spring the more wet weather we'll start to see developing across the country. The thing that's a little bit simpler to forecast is the temperatures and it's likely to be much warmer than usual across Australia. It will probably challenge last winter which was Australia's warmest winter on record.